वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम इलेवन डैश एट सो स्टेटमेंट इज द सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम इज मेड ऑफ टिम्बर दैट हैज एन एलाउेबल बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस ऑफ वन पॉइंट टू जीरो के एस आई एंड एन एनलाउेबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस ऑफ हंड्रेड पी एस आई सो डिटरमाइन इट्स स्मॉलेस्ट डायमेंशन टू द नियरेस्ट वन ओवर एट इंच इफ इट इज रेक्टेंगुलर एंड हैज हाइट टू विट रेशो ऑफ वन पॉइंट फाइव सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अ सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम ए बी देर इज़ अ यूनिफॉर्मली इंक्रीजिंग लोड फ्राम पॉइंट ए टिल थ्री फीट एंड देन देर इज़ अ यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड ऑफ ट्वेल्व किप्स पर फिट और लेंथ ऑफ थ्री फीट द क्रॉस सेक्शन इज रेक्टेंगुलर हैविंग विट इज बी एंड हाइट इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट फाइव सो दिस इज द गिवन डेटा हाइट टू विट रेशो इज वन पॉइंट फाइव सो एच इफ एच इज द टोटल हाइट सो हाइट ओवर वेट B is equal to 1.5, so height will be equal to 1.5 times B. That is mentioned over here. So you have to find this smallest dimension B. So let's start with the solution. So first step in solving this problem is to, if we remove this support, so there will be a reaction force. Let this is R A, and if we remove this support at B, so there will be a reaction force which is represented. as rb so we have to find ra and rb first by using equation of equilibrium so how we will find that so first we will apply equilibrium condition that sum of all moment about point b is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so first moment is due to this load which is ra and perpendicular distance is this total 6 feet and it is producing clockwise moment so it will be negative so minus 6 into ra the second moment that is produced due to this uniformly increasing load so if this is 12 kips per feet so what we will do is we will convert this uniformly increasing load into point load how you will you can see this is a triangular so it will be equal to 1 over 2 into 12 multiply by 3 and this will be acting at a distance of 3 by 3 because total length is 3 so this will be l by 3 so 3 by 3 is 1 feet so it will be at a distance of 1 feet now you can see that this force into perpendicular distance is 4 feet and it is producing counter clockwise moment so it will be positive so i will write plus 1 over 2 into 12 multiply by 3 multiply by 4 the other moment that is produced due to this uniformly distributed load which when converted into point load will be equal to 12 multiply by this total length which is 3 and this will acting at a distance of 1.5 feet because half of 3 is 1.5 feet so it it will also produce a counter clockwise moment so it will be positive so plus 12 into 3 into perpendicular distance is 1.5 their sum must be equal to 0 so when you solve this you will get r a and this r a will r a will be equal to 21 kips now you have this r a you can find r b by using another equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 so all the forces that is acting along the y is r a r b this force which is 1 over 2 into 12 into 20 into 3 and this force which is 12 into 3 their sum must be equal to 0 so r a is 21 which is upward plus r b R B is upward minus this force, which is one over two into twelve multiplied by three, minus this force, twelve into three. Their sum must be equal to zero. So again, when you solve this, you will get R B will be equal to thirty-three kips. Okay. now you have this reaction forces you can just draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so i will draw it we will move this reaction forces 
again to the you can move it copy and you can or you can just raise them and you will have to mention again over here so this is your r a this is your r b and you will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for shear force and bending moment diagram again you have to take the vertical lines from the end of the beam the horizontal line will show you the length of this beam that is x in term of feet so we here we draw the shear force in kips now let take each division is of 10 so this is 10 this is 20 this is 30 similarly minus 10 minus 20 minus 30 now you can check that at point a we have r a and this r a is 21 kips so at first point will be your this point this will be your first point that this is 21 clear now at a length of three feet you can see there is a uniformly increasing load so if we convert find the load at this point at this point clear so this will be equal to 1 over 2 into 12 multiply by 3 and that will be equal to uh, 12 36 divided by 2 18 so minus 18 so 21 is already there minus 18 will bring it to 3 so we will plot 3 so this is the mid of the beam so at this we will have 3 now you can see this load is uniformly increasing load having one degree line so bending uh, shear force will be second degree and that will be in clockwise direction because uh, this load is downward so we will join them join this line by using a second degree curve okay now this is plus three okay now you can see that we have a uniformly distributed load from this to this so 12 into 3 is 36 and this will be minus 36 so plus 3 minus 36 will bring it to minus 33 at the end so we will plot minus 33 so minus 33 will be somewhere here also you can see that this shear force uh, this load is a horizontal with zero degree so shear force will be one degree higher and the slope will be decreasing because the load is downward so we will join these two points by using a straight line and you will get this point this is minus 33 and at the end rb which is plus 33 will bring it to zero so this is your shear force diagram again if you plot it using proper scale so you will get to know that this this is three feet and this is 3.25 feet now at this point we will have a maximum bending moment because the shear force where the shear force is zero the bending moment will be maximum okay so we will draw the bending moment that the bending moment will be into kips into feet also you can now check that this first area is not a triangular so it will be difficult to find the area for this and we know that we will have a maximum bending moment at uh, 3.25 so we will find that maximum bending moment so how so there is a way that if you can see that this is the area which is negative area and this area is minus 33 into the length which is 6 minus 3.25 will give you 45.375 minus so it means that your maximum bending moment at this point will be 45.375 so we will take the advantage of that so let each division is 100 200 300 uh, not 100 sorry let each division is 
25 so 50 75 okay so at a distance of 3.25 let this is 3.25 feet we will have a bending maximum bending moment is 45.37 which will be this point which let's say this is the point 45.375 and this will come from this area this is again it will be equal to 1 over 2 into minus 33 into 6 minus 3.25 and that will be minus 45.375 so you can see the maximum bending moment at this point is 45.375 and the, this region it will go down to zero. Also the shear force diagram is second degree curve. So bending moment will be again uh, one degree higher it will be third degree curve and we will get like this. And 45 is there here the moment will be zero. So it will go down it will be not a straight line it will be like curve clear so this will be your bending moment diagram now we will we know that allowable stress is equal to maximum bending moment into c divided by i so maximum bending moment from this bending moment diagram is 45.375 kips into feet. We have been given a rectangular section. Where this is the breadth B and height is 1.5 times B. So if you take the half this will be your neutral axis so definitely this distance will be equal to 1.5 divided by 2 which is 0.75 b and this will be again 0.75 b okay so i for this rectangular beam is equal to 1 over 12 breadth into height height is 1.5 b whole cube so you will get 0.28125 b power 4 so this is your i and c is equal to you can see c is distance from neutral axis to the top most so this is the value of c c is equal to 0 0.75 times b so you can put it in this formula um, allowable stress is given which is 1.20 ksi so 1.20 into 10 to the power 3 or you can just leave it because their movement is also or you can just 0 0.0 into 10 to the power 3 is equal to maximum movement which is 45.375 into 10 to the power 3 to convert it into pounds and this is in feet so we have to convert it into inch so that's why we multiply by 12 into c c 0 0.75 times b divided by i and i is 0 0.28125 b power 4 so again when you solve this you will get the value b is equal to 10.66 inch now you have 10.66 so this will be the smallest value of b clear 10.66 now we will check it for the shear force whether this uh, required width is okay or not so we know that maximum shearing stress is equal to maximum shear force into q max divided by i into t so v max from the shear force diagram is you can see 33 we will take the mod so it will be 33 so 33 kips so 33 into 10 to the power 3 now what is q max so q max if you take the half of this portion so this half distance will be equal to 1 point uh, 0 0.75 b divided by 2 clear and that will be equal to 
0.375 this is your y dash because we know that q max is equal to y dash into area and this area is 0.75 multiplied by this bread b so we will write y dash is uh, uh, okay q is equal to y dash y dash is 0.375 times b into area which is 0.75 b into b divide by i i is 0.2 28125 b power 4 into thickness which is b okay so we have maximum sharing stress as well maximum sharing stress is 100 and all these values 33 multiplied by 10 raised to power 3 multiplied by 0 0.375 b multiply by 0 0.75 b into b divide by 0 0.28125 into b power 5 so again when you solve this you will get b is equal to 18.17 inch now you can see that we have two values that is uh, let me check it divide by 4 so you can see that we have one value which is 10.66 and due to shear force we have b is equal to 18.176 inch so we will use this b we use use b is equal to uh, 18 multiplied by 4 plus 1 divided by 4 is 18.25 so we will use b is equal to 18.17 inch now you can see how you will choose this b is due to bending stress and this is due to sharing stress so if we select this value if we select this so this will definitely fail in the sharing stress clear but if you use this value so it will satisfy the sharing stress as well as bending because this value is less and this is greater so we will use b is equal to 18.17 inch as breadth so b is equal to 18.17 inch and height will be equal to 10 multiplied by 18.17 inch so this will be the cross section of the timber beam that will sub simply support the load i hope that you have enjoyed this video again if you like my videos then uh, subscribe it and keep watching the remaining videos thank you